just the top of the tabernacle eight. fell off somewhere. Who oh, knows is it where this? It is. No, that's yeah. the tabernacle lamp. No, that's the sanctuary lamp. Oh. Somebody. What? I'm having trouble with all my appointments in here that somebody. Oh, it's over here. Oh, the cross. The cross Hello. fell over. Okay. <laughs> hey, everybody, what's up? You know what week it is? Uh oh, I need a new battery. My little, my little screaming goat is not screaming anymore. Shit. That's really obnoxious. That's because I've been pushing it so much. Right, it's really obnoxious. When things are crazy and, you know, going crazy in my life, I push this thing and it screams. <laughs> so yeah. that means it's been really crazy. We need to get you a new battery. It's back to school week, everybody, so it's been crazy. We had a big hot water heater go out downstairs on the first floor of our school. Mm -hmm. Just replace that. Uh, it's taken a while. We had a commercial unit in there. And they said it was going to cost seven thousand dollars to replace the hot water heater with a commercial unit so they decided to put in two normal ones like we would have yeah. in our home and it saved us thousands of dollars that's awesome i just hope it works so anyway yeah back to school i just uh finished meeting with the uh, school uh, faculty and staff here uh, for an hour talking about different things encouraging them for all what they do uh thank you to everybody in corpus christi parish for allowing us to have a school uh providing so much for us we need more but it's all good. <laughs> Things are adding up here. So it's an exciting week. Uh, tomorrow is the first day of school here at Corpus Christi. We have a half day uh, until 1130. Uh, tomorrow also is the Feast of the Assumption. It's August 15th, uh, the Assumption of Mary into Heaven. It's not when Mary was assumed. Sometimes people think it's yeah. about Mary's conception. No, it's about after when she died that she was assumed into Heaven, body and soul. Because when we die, our souls go wherever. Wherever I think we, we wrote that in the bulletin. Did we? Yeah. Good. Oh, I'm glad. Yeah. Chris, Christy and Ann actually learned some <laughs> theology there. <laughs> I knew that's what it I was. knew it too, yeah. but we wrote it. Because you said, well, you put a description of what it's about. Oh, so we yeah. Did. Yeah, you looked it up. You didn't come up with that on your own, I'm sure. Did you? No, it doesn't matter, does it? It doesn't matter. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's it, right. As it was written. <laughs> We gonna have a Facebook post about that, maybe, or have we already? Yeah, Never. reminding people about. The, yeah, very good. See, and so good. No vigil mass. No, no vigil mass. Yes. So yeah. that's why we canceled mass tonight, Wednesday night, and no confessions, uh, because it would have to count for assumption. And so we're gonna have an evening mass tomorrow night instead on the actual day. So our mass schedule for tomorrow, feast of the assumption, is 8:15 in the morning. It's not a school mass. Uh, so if you come, you can sit up front like normal. And then we have 12 o'clock noon. And 6.30. 6. Yeah, 6. Is six it 6? 6. 6 o'clock. Uh -huh. six. Six days are always the same. Yes. 8.15, noon, and 6. So there you go. 6 o'clock. So. And it's another special day. No. Nah. What is that? Nah. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday. Woo! Father Jerry's birthday. My birthday. What's... Chrissy, well, if, if people were to ask you or Anne, mm. what, what, what could I get Father Jerry for his birthday? What would Money. you say? Almond Joys. Money. Mm. Got to be careful because when we say stuff, sometimes we get a lot of it and then sometimes we didn't get any. Remember? Yeah. Topsy's yeah. Popcorn. We wanted, we put in a selfish plug oh, for, for Topsy's Reese's. Popcorn. We finally got some. But remember the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups? Yeah. We asked for those. Oh my gosh. We got hundreds. Now they all That's got eaten. Good. You know what? I met with a family, Chrissy, you know who they are. Don't say their name. I will. I met with a family who his job is he works for Lint, L-I-N-D-T, you know, who makes chocolates, who they bought out Russell Stover and everything else. So anyway, wow. <laughs> they said, what, what kind of chocolate do you like? All, I said, anything. All chocolate. <laughs> so anyway, so. That's exciting. Tomorrow is the Feast of the Assumption, mm -hmm. and uh, again, with Back to School, there's a lot of great things coming up, especially this weekend. We're kind of celebrating that uh, with our uh, Sundays and Street Eeks celebration, Eeks, Eats. Eek. Uh, so after our 4.30 Mass on Saturday, uh, we're going to have three different food trucks out in the front of the church on the plaza. Mm -hmm. Christy, what are the food trucks? There's a Mexican um, hodgepodge is like uh, burgers, hot dogs, fries, and then barbecue. Okay. So we have three food groups. So food trucks, uh, we're not paying for all of that. No, so if you that's on your own dime. If you want food, you have to pay for that yourself. Beer garden and ice cream social are t we're taking care of that. Yeah. Unless you want to make a donation, we always are accepted. That. Tips are accepted. Yeah. And there'll be other drinks, right? Water or something. Water, Capri Suns, 
for the kids. For the kids. Yeah, it'll be great. Children's games, space painting. No, no game. Oh, there's face painting. face painting and a balloon guy. Balloon guy. Yeah, there's yeah. gonna be music. Music. Um, uh, if you want to bring like some cornhole or something like that, we can do that. There's gonna be some outside seating inside Father Jim Hall. You can bring your own. Kids can always stuff. go and play on the playground. Yeah, you yeah. know. It's just a uh, get together. Get together. Yeah. Yeah. So to get everybody get the band back together. Yep. So it'd be nice. Yeah. Celebrate community. We've never done food trucks on the parish site. Schools done it once and it, they really enjoyed it. So I thought, let's try it. I was in Topeka the other day and they're publicizing all over town. They're having a Topeka wide food truck festival. Yes. I saw that. I think it's downtown or something yeah. like that. But I thought that would be cool. But, mm -hmm. but then again, we have to pay for it. What's the, are, are, it's not like people are going to go from one food truck to another, are they? I mean, well, maybe. but maybe if you want to try like, uh, Mexican street corn from that pers from that thing and maybe get fries from them and have a barbecue sandwich. It would be like going to a food court in a mall. It is. Right? It would be. Right. So, right. <laughs> which I hate because I can never decide. Do I want Spiro, Spiro pizza today or do I want the Oriental food yeah. or Sparrow? Isn't that what it Remember is? In every mall time, is Sparrow. Long John Silver's used to be in there. Oh, I, love, I love Long John Silver's too. We don't have one in Lawrence, no. do we? No, that's what that's the one treat we would do during Lent a lot of times in my family growing up. Go to get Long John Silver's, mm -hmm. yeah, because there's there's it's two good. in Topeka, one of them burned down close the to our house. Good. It's all yeah, I like those crunchies. The crunchies. yeah, the crunchies, it's like the heart healthy platter, <laughs> yeah, yeah, grease pit, grease with more grease. <laughs> Ugh. When I grew up at Assumption, right downtown Topeka, right on the corner of 8th and Jackson, mm -hmm. was a fish place, Arthur Treacher's or something oh, like that, right? And so my sister Sherry and I, after school every day, because you could go in there and for five cents, this was the day, they would they would scoop up all of the little the crunchies yeah. from the deep fry, and you could buy just a little bowl of crunchies. Yeah. So, because Sherry and I had to take the city bus home, we were latchkey children, so we had to take the city bus home, so we would go one block up to the bus stop right there on Kansas Avenue, we get our crunchies for and five get cents. On get on the bus. That's awesome. Yeah. awesome. See, kids yeah. today. It was a simpler time. Won't do that. Simpler yeah, time. They yeah. We're the last, like, of the feral children. <laughs> you know, like yeah. you left and you're like, it was fun. I'm going by. Mm. No, okay. We were, I remember because uh, some people told my mom that they, they thought we were extremely poor because we were latchkey children. I remember because my mom was very upset about that. We didn't have a lot of money, but the fact that somebody pointed that out. Oh, yeah. your kids have to take the city bus. Oh. Because well, so. my parents both worked, yeah. you know, and so. so okay, well, there were lots whatever. of kids. And I remember, like, when they wore their housekeeper around their neck. Mm -hmm. There were kids in my class that so that they wouldn't lose it. Like, they'd put it on and they'd have their house key. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just remember that. That's the way to do it. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, we're doing a lot of bantering today, aren't we? Yeah. That's yeah. good though. Yeah, good community. So that's this weekend. Um, a couple other things that we're I'm really wanting to push hard uh, quickly is uh, we're doing a seven-week series called The Search. Uh, this is our little participant guide that we have for this. So it's really good, and I wrote the forum for this weekend about it. Uh, we're hoping to have as many of you come in. They're going to be Thursday nights at 6.30 starting September 7th for seven consecutive um, Thursdays. Uh, so it's a great series and what it is is really about the basic stuff about faith so um, I mean, real basic so this would be good for non-catholics for maybe some people who you know in your family or something who no longer go to the catholic church because they might have beefs with it or whatever but so you could invite people um, but like the very first session uh, talks about uh, what does it say the theme is who do you, what do you seek so like what's the purpose of life what are, what are our most important things we think about? You know, what are we looking for in life? Um, and then who are you? You know, how does that fit into goals? And then session three is why, why is there a God? Or why, why is God necessary? So it kind of builds on that. What's our story as community? Um, who is Jesus? And then what's the purpose? Is there a reason for a church? Stuff like that. So um, it's real basic stuff, but I think even we Catholics need to go back to the basics a lot of time and remember what we're all about and how we all kind of fit in with each other. So uh, we're going to do that on Thursday nights where it's, it's uh, real simple. It's an hour and a half, but we'll just gather for some community socializing. Then there'll be a video shown 25 to 30 minutes, and then we'll break up into groups there at the tables and just have people discuss, uh, kind of review some of the things they talk about in the, in the viewing, talk about our life. Uh, so it's, it's pretty basic. The thing that's really good about this too, if you can't come to every Thursday night or if you can't go to any of them, 
So you could watch the videos at home and maybe talk about them yourself or just think about it. Uh, Ann's going to be putting things in the bulletin every week as well as uh, a trailer video that's going to be on our website so you can see a little bit about that information. Uh, just so there's going to be great publicity about it. So please consider uh, participating in one way or the other. Um, I'm going to be writing about it in the bulletin. I'll probably be talking about it in my homilies over those weeks too. So if we all know what we're talking about, it's always going to be a little better. So really hope that this is going to be the, uh, the people who are thinking about becoming Catholic, which right now I have 17 people on our list that are thinking about it. Uh, they're going to be coming to these too. Uh, so, yeah. We have over 30 people right now. Yeah. And that's not including the 30-some with OCIA probably, Correct. right? So, Correct. Uh, None of them but, are added yet. Yeah. Let's, the registration let's, is easy. Super easy. From the website. It's on the slider. Yeah. Right at the top. Register. When you register. Look, for, look for the search. Yep. 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 Do it. And we'll have snacks. We'll have snacks, we'll beverages, have yeah. all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so, probably good. And if you know of anybody who's thinking about becoming Catholic or just interested in learning about the faith more, if it's a spouse, uh, invite your neighbors to come, uh, then just let them know. Send me, send me an email. There's a uh, link on our website and everything, too, for that. Uh, so, yeah. We're also, the last big push here, uh, we're starting our religious education faith formation program here in the next week or two. Uh, and um, we still probably have, uh, Gina is working on this list as well as Leslie, we probably still have about 100 children in our parish who are not registered in any kind of faith formation. So one of the things we ask people to do, I mean, if you're in our school, that's one thing, but if you have children in public school or a home school, we still want you to have your children registered every grade level. So uh, again, if you want your child to have First Communion or First Reconciliation, it's a two-year program, so they need to be registered in first grade and second grade. Uh, same with confirmation. It's a two-year prep program, so seventh and eighth grade. But we would also say, I would also say, make sh you can also register them for third grade and fourth grade and fifth grade and sixth grade. Uh, so please do, because again, uh, we need them to have that. It's it's like a, uh, what do they call it? The curriculum is a yearly-based curriculum, just like in our schools and everything. So if you're missing three or four years, you're missing a lot of stuff that's really important. So please have your children register. Please register them soon. For any faith formation here at Corpus Christi, again, all that information is on our website uh, in the bulletin. Isn't there the uh, choir open house if you're interested in the music ministry? Isn't that Sunday? Two o'clock. Two o'clock. Yeah. Two o'clock to five o'clock if you're interested in music ministry. Yeah. yeah. They'll be there. There'll be food and drinks. You can talk to some of the choir people. Mm -hmm. um, I'll be there too for at least part of it. So if Sean, our director of music and liturgy, says something that you don't like or if he's mean to you, then you come to me. <laughs> And uh, Sean's probably watching this. So, uh, yeah. Really, it's, uh, with the, the good thing about a choir is you don't have to have the most perfect voice, singing voice, because you blend in with the other people next to you. And Sean's good about helping people to know that. Um, well, it's, we it's, also have, like, handbell. Handbell. Instrumentalists are needed. Yep. Children's choir, second through eighth. So, right. yep. yeah. Lots handbell is actually, handbell is pretty simple. I mean, if you can count... Mm -hmm. and follow direction, then you just read, you don't have to even be able to read music. Sean, it's easy enough for a lot of people where they can do that. So, uh, Anne, we're have you been in bell choir? No. Bonnie no. is. Oh, Bonnie is. I'll mm -hmm. out my dad. He's a dropout. Oh. A bell choir. Long time ago. Huh. Does he, go to, does yeah. he go to church here? <laughs> He's an yeah. alum. Huh, He's really? Alum. Well, then he can come back. Yeah. Leo. <laughs> If you hear us, <laughs> Father's looking for you, and you can thank your daughter. <laughs> I'm a Leo. Is Leo a Leo? No. I don't mm. know what he is. April 30th. Saint Leo is one of the great saints. He's called Leo the Great. Great. I don't know. I don't care about it. What day? Else. The 30th of April? That might be Taurus. Or a Pisces. I'm a, uh, May 3rd is Taurus. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, we'll figure it out. It's a lot about anyway. that. Yeah, there you go. Everybody knows about Leo now, don't right. we? So, okay, I think that's it. We probably rambled too long, so uh, thank you everybody for uh, whatever. And if you need anything from us, <laughs> if you need anything from us, let us know. Call, go on the website, look in the bulletin, whatever. So, we're here to help, as long as you help us too. All right, thank you everybody. God bless.